Yeah. All right. Let's move on to our next topic. And, Alan, I'm going to go back to you, my man. All right. So, story time. <laughs> um, when Yukiko and I started dating uh, in Savannah, Georgia, story time. we were uh, this early, early months of dating. Her and I had just gone to, like, a... Um, uh, a bamboo garden, so just kind of walking around, chilling that day, you know, had a nice little walk around. Um, we're driving back, and, you know, she's, like, holding my hand in the car, and, you know, we're just yeah, looking lovingly into each other. And it had been cold that day, and I remember kind of, like, just wiping my nose, you know, when you, you get, like, a runny nose or whatever. Oh, man, you had a so, bird in you. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> she's there, like, touching my hand, and I kind of, like, glance down, and I see on my hand is like a full strip, like dried up snot, like uh, yellowy looking and everything uh, just dried up. And I'm like, like looking down, you know, like kind of like look at her, look at look at the thing again. Like, did she see it? Oh my God, oh my God. And she's like touching my hand, like I'm just touching. And then sure enough, I feel her hand go over that area and I'm just like bracing. And she's like, oh no, like she doesn't know what it is yet. So she's, she's like, oh, oh no, like what happened to your hand here? And then she's like, I can just see her kind of like staring at it and I'm trying to like pull it away at the same time. Like, I'm just like, oh no, what do I do? <laughs> and, so and she's like, what, what is that? And she's like, I'm like, uh, and she's like, is this a booger? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, I mean, she just laughs it off. She's like, that is fucking disgusting. But, you know, <laughs> she didn't like kick me out of the car immediately or anything like that. And, you know, we laugh about it to this day. Like, a nickname I have from her is Booger Hands at this point because, because AKA, of that moment. AKA Booger Hands. AKA, AKA Booger, Booger Hands, Booger exactly. Hands. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you guys, with that in mind, has there ever been anything, not as specifically that, but, like, when you were dating your significant other or your wife, girlfriend, whatever, where you were just, like, something happened on a date where you were just so worried that it was, like, a little too soon. You know, now I'm sure everybody, like, farts in front of their wives. Uh, or I still like, don't. You know, I still don't shit. It's crazy. I, okay, well, I totally maybe do. maybe you guys did you accidently do. fart in front of them or something. But, <laughs> your beautiful uh, face can make up for your stinky-ass <laughs> farts. <laughs> we don't so, have yeah, I just want to ask you guys if any time when you guys were dating you had something where you, like, weren't ready for that reveal quite yet or something like that. Oh, <sighs> man. Um, Clay, you kind of let me know last time we were talking that you've had a few of those times where you were like worried. Yeah. You know, like this, like, too much. There, you know, so mine's a little bit more serious than the boogers, but. Okay. Yeah, um, whatever. Yeah. I uh, like, let's see. How do I. Okay. So I think in the past in relationships, um, I have been very analytical and um, it causes me a lot of stress and it causes me a lot of uh, anxiety because I worry about being perfect and doing the right things and I overanalyze when something doesn't happen the way I think it should happen or I expect something and it doesn't happen and, and that leads me to kind of um, like react or, or, or be proactive in such a way that's just a little bit too much or too unnatural or too overbearing. Overwhelming kind of. Yeah, yeah overwhelming, I would imagine. Uh, and so that's always led to problems uh, in the past. Um, there's even like a little bit of like, you know, like my brain goes to like the worst possible scenarios of like jealousy and stuff like that. So um, when I met Sarah, I liked her so much. And like it was also like a combination of me just getting to the point in my life where I was like, this is always a problem. This needs to stop. And so what I did is I ended up seeing a therapist because I just, I didn't want to ruin this relationship. And, um, I started talking to her, my therapist about all these things. Um, but it took me a while to like, I f it felt weird hiding this from her. Um, yeah, yeah. but it, it took me a while to actually like open up about it. And I'll never forget. It was like weird. I think, I think like I was about worried. seeing a therapist you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. And I was worried. I think like we were having dinner one night and she just mentioned like having a dream about therapy or something like that. I was like, does she know? Like, I have to tell her. Like, this is crazy. Like, is did she I leave the dropping... receipt? Yeah. Like, right. I was like, <laughs> I leave? Yeah. Like, so I went, I must have went like three months, four months without telling her. And then this happened. Mm. And I was like, I was like, I got, honey, I was like, I got something to tell you. Blah blah blah. I've been seeing a therapist for this, Sounds that, and the other reason. Scary, like. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, I know, but like, I wanted Only to if do you it together. Like, been seeing a therapist. We've been together for about three to four months now, and I feel like there's something very important I need to. Oh, she, she's like, you breaking up with me? I was like, no, God, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was like, no, no, it's even worse. Yeah, I was like, no, it's even worse than that. It's even worse than that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse. 
I'm planning on sacrificing reaction. our first. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the first sacrifice. Of the okay, go, sorry, go ahead. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's uh, okay. It's just that um, up to that point, we've been extremely open and honest, like from every, like from everything, from like what has happened in our lives, of like our our other significant others, and like our family. Like we've just been very open. So this is like the first thing I had, I had really kept to myself about it, yeah, um, I and I told her, but her reaction was like that's totally fine like she was like wow that like it feels really good that you're actually doing something that like that important for us like that's great yeah. and like she was like just so you know you didn't have to tell me and you could have never told me or you like it's up to you to tell me something like that and i was like thank you like that made me feel really good so um that was just something that i did that just i was a little like, nervous about like right now. giving her yeah, that you truth like, that you were going to the yeah to seek therapy kind of like yeah oh yeah I, and you could I, you could have went to like complete 180 and been like you'd be like yeah my therapist told me not to tell you what yeah. i was gonna tell you anyways and then i just said fuck it and you just start going <laughs> yeah. all you just start going crazy from there and then just like but she's like whoa, okay whoa, whoa. um dinner's yeah. over uh, gotta go. <laughs> yeah you gotta go <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that's interesting though. I think um, from what I've <sighs> learned a bit over the years yep. is any sort of uh, information about how our like as men our brains work to women is like like the most insightful things to them. Yeah, like, they they appreciate to know that kind of stuff so much because oh. it like they think they know some things sometimes, and then you just tell them, and they're like, like I had no idea that's how it works. <laughs> like yeah. why? Why does that happen? Yeah. Like, thank you for telling me now. Like, I don't have to second guess myself like all the time about why this person's acting this way or whatever. It's, it's, it's so funny true. because I like I talk with my wife about that all the time. I say we're not mind readers. You have to let me know like what's the subject, what's going on in the subjective because I really don't know how you think. Oh yeah, like, both ways though. Both yeah, ways the same way. Like, like so she's got to do the same our thing minds might too. be so like point A to point B where yeah. there's just like making stops like detours. She'd be like, B hey, you, hey, were you thinking about this just now? And I'd be like, no, not at all. Actually, I was thinking about that. Squirrel that just ran behind me, yeah. and I was like, "I wonder if he grabbed that nut on the floor or not." Yeah, he goes always like, How, "She's like, are you okay right now? You look really pissed." I was like, "Oh, I was just looking at the pattern in the rug, you know." Like, yeah. <laughs> have you guys ever, have you guys ever done that though? Like, I ever ask you, it's like, "What are you thinking?" And you tell him exactly what you're thinking. And you're like, "Fuck, why did it like? Makes why was I even think about that? Like, really? Like, like what is yeah, like windshield? No. Like windshield wipers? Like, why are they going so like?" <laughs> Like you know, what I mean? like I don't know how else to say that. You know, I I thought that was really funny. I don't know if you guys ever saw Inside Out, the new the newer Pixar yeah. movie. Yeah, when yeah, they're yeah. they're talking at the dinner table yeah. and he's like thinking about the hockey game or yeah. whatever, and yep. she's and they're like, oh, we like, lost him. Like they're like we the lost sign? him. Give yeah. him the sign. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's pretty accurate. You know. Yes, it is. Totally I can totally imagine like when I'm thinking about like a soccer game or something, and then you know they're like, so what do you think? And I'm like, uh huh. Yep, and it's like not the right answer at all. Like not at all. It doesn't make any sense in the conversation. <laughs> Up in your head, they're watching the soccer game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I could see that for sure. For me, oh man, you're talking about uh, like kind of embarrassing or just like having to like open yeah, up. anything that you just maybe, maybe weren't sure wife, about. Yeah, you know, weren't sure about like that. revealing at the time. I mean, mine was like just happened to be funny. You know, it's just like a really jarring yeah. thing to have like your booger being massaged by your girlfriend. So <laughs> yeah. That's a bit odd. <laughs> so it's tough for me because it's like I'm one of those people that's like I'm like an open book right from the get go. Yeah, yeah. So it's so it's like I'll I'm gonna just speak my mind about everything and even though there's not gonna be a filter as well as even when we were talking about like the farting thing and being funny. Like, <laughs> I even did that one day one. It was kinda like not day one literally, but it was, it was like her face, it, it just wasn't sick. something that obviously I was trying to hide. I was like, it's a part of the natural process. Of course, yeah, yeah. Sit yeah. here and hold it, you're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that's uh, I don't know. So it becomes a little difficult Embrace for me. Embrace the farts, my love. Embrace. So maybe you can even just tell us what happened when you did that. What did Karina do? Like, well, obviously she looked at me disgusted, and that hasn't changed at all since the beginning. I still get these very disgusted looks, like you're just such a nasty fuck. Like oh why do God. I? Why do I? Why do I do this? <laughs> Oh man, so like I guess embarrassing man. moments. This is just recently. I was, I was kind of like, hey, you know, you. happened yesterday. Um, I was going to the bathroom. I decided I had to go to the bathroom. She wanted to keep a conversation going. Oh, didn't really realize what was going on. Uh, <laughs> and I remember they're kind of like making a face, like, mm, like, hey, can you close the door? <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't close the door. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. She was just was in there having conversation. wasn't really realizing like what I was quite doing yet because she was uh, she was focused on the conversation like you would have been on the TV of the the right, soccer right. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
what else was going on? And I was like, hey, baby. <laughs> so I guess an embarrassing moment was a situation like that. Normally I'm an open book, but that one just kind of didn't feel right at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, because you were we, struggling uh, to get that. Yeah. To I get that, that out. That turtle head had to go. It wasn't just some yeah, smooth stuff. motion that was going on where I could keep conversation. It was like, definitely going to have to stop this one for a quick second. What do you guys, door. Any of you guys like pee or shit with the door open? We just recently started I, peeing I, while the other one might with, be in the shower. Yeah, pee, okay. pee with the door open. I do uh, the for pee sure. thing, but... I don't. Yeah. I, I close it when I poo, though. But like, even then, like <laughs> I if I bust, <laughs> if I if I bust out like a loud fart, I'm like shit, and then I'm like come out afterwards. I'm like, did you hear that? And she's like, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that. So everyone heard that. Next door neighbors. Yeah. Were oh, was, just quick, real quick. One time uh, the other day, I farted it, at work it, <laughs> while I was pooing, and it sounded like the uh, the call of the raptors in Jurassic Park when they're like calling out for the other one. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, it's exactly like like that. Not like not like the the like thing. Yeah, but it was like when it like it like makes that like snout sound. It was like the sound of it like hitting the ground, uh, hitting the toilet, and then like coming back up. I was like, I was like, whoa! (laughs) That's exactly like the Jurassic Park like raptors. That's really good. Dude, every every couple's different. Like I know some couples who like make a very impressive poop, and they're like, honey. Oh, you can go like once to show me that kind of shit all the time, and I'm I'm oh, like no, a little what? bit more I'm I'm more on the on the reserve side personally. <laughs> I'm too. always like I'm always like kind of like I'm like yo like sometimes you know you like you share a little too much with me. <laughs> I was yeah, like, Kira, but but yeah. I, yeah Dude, my daughter Kira did that one time. She like made a ring around the hole that she's like, come look, come look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, like, I just pooed and it's like bigger than my arm, and I'm like, yeah. okay, that's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is like, this is, I'm so hypocritical with this one because she could be taking a shower and I'd be like, oh, I gotta go take a shit, whatever. You know, just go do my thing. Where dude, like, I, can, dude. I yeah, never, ever, ever want to think about her taking a dump, dude. Like, if she's ever taking a dump, I'm like, close the door. That's what are you not doing? fair, man. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, it's not fair. Hey, yeah, wait, I'm like trying to brush my teeth. What are you doing? You can't come in here and do this right yeah, now. Yeah, you're too hard to draw my like, on my teeth right now. So that's what I said. I'm very, very hypocritical with that this. Is, yeah. like, so if Yukiko was sitting around, she's like, ah, look at this. I'm like, oh, ah, no. <laughs> no, I, I've never looked. I've never checked them out, though. <laughs> oh, uh, you, no, you've that's denied not, the request. I've checked. denied, yeah. I'm just <laughs> like, she'll describe it. I'm like, that's disgusting mm-hmm. and that's impressive. That's so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, man, I remember trying to be quiet inside your guys' bathroom, too. I was like, whoa, oh, I gotta kind of oh go. Another she gave real me this quick digestive story time. tea. I was like, oh I can't God, drink dude. this digestive tea. This, this, we had um, a friend of ours from college. I won't name who it was. <laughs> I won't name who it was. Nobody here. Nobody here. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is a rock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she, she, had, she brought her boyfriend along, so there's a hint. It's a girl. Wow. Anyway, she brought her boyfriend along. And they stayed in our apartment while they were here for a couple of days. And the boyfriend, um, I don't, something's <laughs> wrong with his digestive system <laughs> because, like, throughout the week, like, or throughout the weekend, we just kept smelling like the nastiest, most like foul farts, like, in the apartment every now and then. Like, different places we were going, we were like, and so like the whole time we were like, you know, me and Kiko and I were like, like at night before we go to bed, we're like in our room, we're like, like yo. Which one of them do you think is farting? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you keep just letting them roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, these are disgusting. Like, these smell like a fucking like, mixture of, like, gas fumes and, like, sulfur and, like, <laughs> dead bodies. Like, what is wrong? And so then, sure enough, the last day, we see the boyfriend go into the bathroom and the closes the door, which means for sure he's taking a dump. Well, well we found out for sure afterwards. Okay. Anyway, and he comes out and, like, we were all just chilling on the couch. You know, you know, one of us walks by. I walk by, like, the bathroom, and I'm just like, bah! Like, you know, like, <laughs> I, like, on the inside, I can, like, I'm, like, going to, like, rip my nose off. It's so disgusting. And uh, Yukiko does the same thing. And so, of course, we have to keep it pleasant. We don't call him out, obviously. Yeah. But then afterwards, we're like, we have found the fucking culprit. Because oh, my God. That is, like, something's wrong with oh. it. <laughs> Dang! Uh, yeah, definitely. Was, she wasn't. She wasn't feeding him the digestive teas, though, was she? I don't think so. I don't think we had it at the time. Okay, okay. Because like, like I was telling you guys before, I was like, my di- my digestive system's like on point as it is. I'll already go to the bathroom like four or five times. Dude, a day. Dude, the spicy chicken sandwiches you were eating. I, I know, man. I know, I know. But I got this digestive tea from Yukiko, and all I'm thinking is like, holy shit. I feel like my stomach is about to bubble up, and I'm going to take the biggest shit, loudest <laughs> shit, and they're right 
10 feet away from me, and I'm like sitting on the toilet. I've got a squatty potty there, one... which makes it even harder not to be loud. Oh, yeah, yeah, you just gotta let it flow. Dude. <laughs> yeah. gonna and if, there's, it. if there's one place where you could feel free to do that, it would have been in our apartment because, like I just told you, I have yeah. a little TMI all the, all the time. So That's the one thing I hate about my condos because, like, the bathroom, you can just, you can still hear, and it's oh, yeah. like, I want my bathroom two floors below. Where everybody hangs out. Dude, I sound like it's own... sound for the bathroom. Bathroom. Like, I felt. Like I thought about. Dude, you have happening. no idea how much. Just next time, let it rip, dude. Yeah. How much <laughs> time I spend thinking about bathroom like design and architecture. Like when yeah. I'm in a public place, I I examine the cracks between the doors, <laughs> the like space between the next stall. Like I don't want to see the next guy's shoes, uh, yeah, especially in a workplace, because ever... then I know who's pooping next to me. It's that no. easy. I was like, br- like, I, are and, you and, that <laughs> guy though that like looks at the person's shoes and then tries to find the guy out in the rest? Or How wherever could you else not? you are. How could you not? You see the shoes and you're like, I wonder who the fuck was. Oh, like, look at those shoes There's right there. Do this. Those are some gray boots with, with yellow so, laces. I'm gonna it's find so it. easy. Yeah, it's so easy when it's somebody has like iconic looking shoes, like red laces, like with purple shoes. You're just no, like, oh, it's guys, that guy over have there. Have you guys ever been like in a stall shitting and then you got you guys catch like the eye of a person through the crack and that's you the lock eye out? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. no fun. You're like, oh. Yeah, no. I'm problem. like, I always wonder, like, how much did he see? Like, did he just yeah. like get a face full of pubes and stuff? You know, like, who knows? <laughs> Hold on, a second. I can have, I can have a whole topic on like bath, public bathroom, like design and what I would feel Ooh. is ideal. What do you say when somebody knocks on your door and you're in there taking a shit? Occupied. I say yo. I say yo. Like, yo. yo. I say yo. Once, once yo. That's exactly what I say. Yo. <laughs> no, I don't say occupied. I say yo. Because yeah, everything but... is like someone's in here. Like. Of course, someone's in here. What about you? No, someone's in here. What about you, Clay? <laughs> I I used to always say yo, like Steve, yeah, but I'm like starting you. to think now I should I should say like answer these questions three to enter or something like that. Like, <laughs> just do something like that. Let's like yeah. something. riddle me this and you can enter or something. <laughs> Somebody knocks on the door. <laughs> or like, do some really nice riddle. Smeagol voice or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Are you the guys that um? Pull back, like if you have to, like do like a loud fart or like poo or whatever in a, in a public bathroom. Are you one of those people that like doesn't let it rip if you hear somebody else in there, or do you just let no, it, no, let no, it no. rip? No, no, no. So in a public, I'll let it rip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been hard for me to overcome that. I used to hate. I used to like to be the you only one in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when someone else would come, I'd be like, "Motherfucker, I'm not even done, dude." Exactly. I'm done. <laughs> so here's what I used to do. Like when I used to be embarrassed about it, I would be like the loud cough or like the oh, flush yeah, yeah, for the sure. toilet at flush. the same time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, or flush the toilet at the same time. Now I just don't care. I'm just and like, then, that's yeah. the toilet's need... not getting flushed before it's ready. Like, and I'm you not. You need coughing. loud white noise music going on in the public, so you keep. So it's really hard to hear the other guys. Yeah, there's so much I could design. Do you do it at work? Bathroom. Work? Work bathroom? Yeah, man, all the time. Okay. Or you can always have fart noise noises playing. Yeah, so you don't yeah. know. <laughs> we don't know. I like it. Always I, have. I, a yo, dummy. I want them to get a recording of my Jurassic Park one though, just to have like <laughs> that thrown in. <laughs> I gotta find a clip of it. Of it like, have it you guys ever? So, farted guys, this and, topic like, is turned about it. Just poop. Like, in oh, toilets? dude. There's this like, guy I worked the with. Fuck? There's this guy I worked with in LA. Um, and whenever, like, he was like in the bathroom, and like, even if he was just like peeing, and somebody else was in the toilet, and they like, like let a like a loud fart or like, like. <laughs> Like sound or something, he would just start cracking up, dude. And I was like so embarrassed because like every, it happens to everybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but he just starts like so. Hey, so do you guys <laughs> silently laugh inside your stall? Well, no. Your if it's a yourself? funny sound, yeah. Like if I heard yeah, the Jurassic like, Park, I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you have a raptor in there? Like, what you ever yeah. praise somebody for the loudness of their fart next well, to you? No. Like, dude, that was a good one, bro. That I was a good. Like, yeah, uh, Mr. So Yellow heard, Shoes. That was good. I heard so. Yeah, some guys. Some guys just like they just like have a conversation with you. They're like, like, <laughs> w- like one guy was in this uh, urinal next to me just peeing. Um, one guy was in the in the stall like taking a shit, and like the guy in the stall like farted, and then the guy in the, the, the urinal next to me just like looks at me, and he's like looking at me, and I'm like, yeah, and he's like. And he just, you know, like does one. And I was like, at this point, I was like, okay, like, join. I was like, I was like join. yeah, I was like, I got to join up. So I was just like, <laughs> I think I got you guys. And I was just like, <laughs> like a little, and they're all like, yeah, like, there's like so much camaraderie. <laughs> I love you like and this is why thing? women. No, I this know. Is, this, no, this is dude. why. No, this is why women have so. no clue what, we'll ask, what is ask, going on. Should, everybody should ask their significant other if that happens in the bathroom. I I think not. I think they do. No, I'm just telling you, man. This is exactly. 
this is back to Alan's point of they have no clue what's happening in the guys' heads because they don't they just don't understand experiences like that. They don't go. I don't think they go through the same. But it's so weird because sometimes people can be like, like, dude, if you even like glance over the urinal, it's like a no no. But then sometimes you like make eye contact and then share a fart together. You know, like who so knows? There's some exceptions <laughs> to the rule, but there definitely is that like man code of like if there's three urinals, man, don't take the one next to me. Leave that gap. Just Unless you're like an 80 year old plus man and you're just like <laughs> sit right next shit. to you and yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so thinking, back to the original topic. Steve, do you have anything? Pants. Steve, do you have anything? Um, I, I honestly, I just Amber just got home and I asked her if she can think of anything. The only thing she said was like, "My room is dirty," pretty much. <laughs> Like, you're I, boring, I was like, Steve. Hey, it was? You're boring. I was like, I don't really know. It's I like, really damn, know. I wasn't embarrassed about that. Should I have been? Savage, man. <laughs> Shit. Should I have been embarrassed? It was oh, like, man. Maybe it was a little bit dirty, but like the carpet sucked because. In fact, um, back to that, uh, the bathroom stories real quick. Though, dude, I walked in this, into the, you were talking about the man code of like, you don't, urinals, you don't, you, know, you one, you leave an open space and you have another. Yeah. Dude, I walked in the urinals one day or the bathroom one day and this guy has his pants down like a little kid like a five-year-old kid would do like well, down to his down yeah dude down to his ankles at the urinal going pee and i'm like i don't know if i want to share those i walked, I walked into ass. a bathroom let's go up and smack his ass <laughs> yeah i walked to the bathroom like that and the guy's like got his hand on it. he's just leaning he's like oh i'm like wow i'm out i'm out dude, no, i'm back for me, it was I would love to see that. Let's play. I would love to see that if it was just like if it was a camera setup and some guys doing that, and you walk in, you're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, like, yeah. Camera show. Just turn away, man. Show. All right. Uh,